Welcome to this quick demo on 40PAM with CTNA tagging features. My name is Janar Garcia, Technical Marketing Engineer at Fortinet. In this video, I will give you a quick overview on our demo environment, walk you through the component configuration, and explain how you can leverage this feature in your own environment. Let's dive right in. In this lab setup, we have four key components. On the left, we have Windows clients connecting to 40 client EMS, which connects to 40 PAM via 40 net security fabric connector. From the 40 PAM, these clients will access the target assets on the right hand of the diagram. For this demo, we are utilizing CTNA tagging based on the operating system, specifically targeting Windows 10 and Windows 11 or both. The first step is to ensure that the 40 client EMS is properly deployed and configured. Navigate to the Security Posture Tagging section and open Security Posture Tagging Rules. Here, we will add a new rule and name it Windows 10 with a tag of Windows 10. This rule will be based on Windows Operating System version and we will specify Windows 10 in the configuration. Don't forget, 40 Client EMS also supports other OS tagging options such as your Mac OS, the Linux, iOS, and the Android. The next step would be to create another rule for Windows 11 using the same procedure but specifying the OS version as Windows 11. This way we can differentiate access base on which version of Windows is being used, either Windows 10 or a Windows 11. As you can see, both Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices are successfully configured. Now let's connect to the Windows 10 and Windows 11 clients that we have. With those clients, let's connect uh, using a 40 client to connect to the 40 client EMS server. It's always good practice to verify that the connection is good and verify that you are connected to the correct EMS system. Now let's log into the uh, 40 PAM using both Windows 10 and Windows 11 clients. As expected, both operating system will be able to connect without any issues as we have not applied any restrictions yet. At this point, it is important to confirm that the 40 PAM is connected to the 40 client EMS via our 40 net fabric connector. Let's navigate to network fabric connector where you can see that the 40 client EMS has already been pre-configured and it's fully operational. A quick edit can be done here to verify that the IP and the port settings are correct, ensuring connectivity between the two systems. Now let's quickly verify that we have two distinct Windows client operating system, which is Windows 11 and a Windows 10. Now that we are connected and verified that the operating system are correct, let's also log into the 40 PAM since there is no any policies or tag policies configured, we can fully access the 40 PAM with no problem. Now let's configure CTNA tag access. Now that all components are configured and connected, let's proceed with restricting access based on OS version. Let's navigate to network, select the interface you want to configure and choose edit. Scroll down to the CTNA tag options, remove Windows 10 from the list and save configuration. Now let's access the 40 PAM using Windows 10 client and as expected, we have access denied due to CTNA policy. Let's add the Windows 10 back to the access policy from the port configuration. So our Windows 10 access to 40 PAM will be back again. As you can see, the access to 40 PAM from Windows 10 is back. Now let's disallow Windows 11 access this time. We'll disable access for Windows 11 We'll follow the same procedure as before, but this time removing Windows 11 from the CTNA allowed access list. After saving, use a Windows 11 client to attempt access. The result will be a denial of access due to the CTNA tag policy. 
Finally, enable Windows 11 once again, and the Windows 11 client can successfully access FortiPad. Save the configuration and relaunch the FortiPad management portal. And our access to FortiPad is back. That concludes our video. Thank you again for watching.